Hi, I'm George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video we'll learn about one-to-one -one functions. Now, a one-to-one -one function is a function that satisfies the definition of a function, but also it has some other requirements, and namely, each x value can only be associated with one y value, and that's the definition of a function, and each y value can only be associated with one x value. That's the one-to-one -one part. So uh, what we know is that if f of a equals f of b, that implies that a is equal to b. There's no other way for that to happen. Also, if we know that a and b are different, then we also know that f of a cannot be equal to f of b. That's the contrapositive of that. So we're going to take a look at a couple of examples, one that is one-to-one, -one, one that is not, and we'll talk about strategies for each. So for the first one, we have f of x equals 2x minus 9. And one thing that we can try is start with f of a equals f of b for some values of a and b that we're, we're hoping that they're different from each other. So plug in a to the function and we get 2a minus 9. Plug in b and we get 2b minus 9. Now we want to try to... Um, manipulate both sides of this equation, if we end up with a has to be equal to b, then we know that it is one to one. We started with two function values that were the same, and the only way they could be the same is if the input values were the same. We can start by adding nine to both sides of the equation. That gets us to two a equals two b, and when we divide both sides of the equation by two, we see that a is equal to b. So if we start with f of a equals f of b, then we know that a has to be equal to b. So that is one to one. Now, if we tried the same approach for the other one, it may not be easy to show that a might be different than b. This one is going to be not one to one. So what we can do in this case is we can try a couple of values of x and see if we can produce the same output value. So, for example, suppose we started with f of 1. f of 1 would equal the square root of 16 minus 1 squared. 1 squared is just 1. 16 minus 1 is 15. So f of 1 is equal to the square root of 15. Notice that we could get the same thing if we worked with f of negative 1. This would be the square root of 16 minus negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is positive 1, so we've got 16 minus 1. That is also the square root of 15. So we have two different x values. Let me clean that up. That led to the same value of y. That means that this function is not 1 to 1. If we had used the same approach as we did on part A, what we would have ended up with is we would have showed that A was either equal to positive or negative B. It's either equal to, the, they're either the same or they're opposites. And because they could be different from each other, that would show that this function is not one-to-one. -one. All right, in the next video, we'll talk about the horizontal line test. And that's a way to graphically show that a function is or is not one-to-one.